All right, it's, it's, about, um, it's about two and a half minutes, so it's not very long, but just listen to it. For those of you who are familiar with the stories, just listen to like how the different stories have been totally mixed together. Of Zachariah. Zachariah was 110 and his wife was 90. Do you remember that story? No, I don't Zachariah, remember. Zachariah the prophet, <laughs> who was the father of John, he was 110. His wife was 90. And he prayed to God for a son. He said, oh God, I have no children. God, give me a son. God answered him. The angel Gabriel came to him and said, you will have a son. He wanted to know how. I would want to know too. <laughs> he said, oh God, how will I have a son when I'm an old man? I don't have any water. And my wife is barren. She doesn't create no eggs in that language. She's barren. She's way beyond menopause. She's menopause. <laughs> but God said, so be it. When God orders a thing, it will be. And when Zachariah, a prophet of God, went back to his wife and said, guess what? I had a vision and God said to me through the angel that you will become pregnant. Of course she laughed, I would too. <laughs> but just as she laughed, she found something moving in her stomach. And guess who was the child that was born? That was John the Baptist, the cousin of Jesus Christ. Because Zachariah was the cousin of Hannah. And Hannah what? was the woman that prayed to God for a son that she could give to the priest so that he could become a priest. And she prayed to God and God told her through the angel Gabriel again that she will have a son. No, that she will have a child. And she had that child. But when the child was a girl, she said, oh God, verily I have given birth, but it's a woman, it's a girl. The angel said to her, so be it, this girl will be the chief of the women in the hereafter. And that's what Mary is. And when Mary was born, she was given over to the care of Zachariah, who was the chief priest of the temple. Now, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> like of how many things are wrong in that two and a half minutes. But did you hear like what he was talking about? So, so basically the story in Islam, I, I mean, I'm not saying that, I mean, maybe, I don't even know if this guy is even representing Islam properly, but you know, if, he's, if this is what he's teaching and the United Muslims of Australia invited him all the way from America to speak um, in Sydney, Australia. So he's basically saying, I'm just trying to remember what the story was. So Zachar Zacharias was 110, and his wife Elizabeth was 90 when the angel, came, angel Gabriel came to him, which is mixing it up with uh, something else, um, to say that Elizabeth was going to give birth. Now, what is he mixing that up with, right? He's mixing it up with Abraham and Sarah, right? Is that what you want? Sorry? I don't think he went into John the Baptist's mom's name. But Zacharias was married to Elizabeth in the Bible, but he's saying that Zacharias was 110. We're not told how old Zacharias and Elizabeth were. They were well stricken in age, but he's getting the 90 and 110 from Abraham and Sarah. But he doesn't even have that right because a a Sarah was told when she was 90 and Abraham was 100, not 110. So they're mixing that up. And then he says that something, he said something as well, like Zacharias went back to his wife and his wife laughed. So again, he's mixing it up with Sarah and Abraham because it was Sarah that laughed when she told, was told she was given a son. Uh, um, Elizabeth didn't laugh. And remember when Zacharias was told he was going to have a child, what happened? He was struck dumb. He couldn't talk until John the Baptist was born. So again, he's not going back to his wife and telling her, oh, this is what the angel told me because he's, he's struck dumb. And then it gets even crazier, he says, because Zacharias was the cousin of Hannah. And it's like, what? Because Hannah is the, is the mother of Samuel. And Samuel is the last judge of Israel before King David and King Solomon. So, how do, you know, so he's mixing up Hannah 
And then, and then he changes, and then they say, well, Hannah was praying for a son. Did you get that? Praying for a son. But then God gave her a child, but it was a woman. And then that woman was Mary. And then Mary was, you know, put into the care of Zacharias. And then, and then it goes on. I took the rest of it out. It goes on to like Zacharias had her locked up. And there's the miracle of like, he, he's the only one that had the key. And every time he would go check on her, like miraculously, there was fruit given to her. And what was so miraculous about it was not that the fruit was appearing, is that in summer it was winter fruit, and in winter it was summer fruit. And then it goes on, and then it goes on to how Jesus was born in the desert, and how he spoke from the cradle and everything. But you just kind of think, you see how he's just like mixed, so he's mixed up Abraham and Sarah, he's mixed up Hannah and Samuel, he's mixed it in with Zacharias. You know, the, the, the Quran also says that um, Mary was the sister of Aaron, you know, Aaron the priest with Moses. So he's just like mixing all these stories from different times. Hannah didn't live at the time of Abraham and Sarah. And then, um, you know, Aaron didn't live at the, that time either. And then, you know, and I'm just kind of thinking, you know, I know they believe that the Bible has been corrupted, but that corrupted? Like that corrupted to the point where all the stories in the Bible are just mixed up? So you see how they, they keep saying, and I know Muslims will say, oh, you know, the Bible has been changed. You know, obviously we believe it has been tampered with. We believe that there are alterations that people have tried to make but you kind of got to turn it on them and say do you really think it's been corrupted to the point where Muhammad was right about these things you know because Muhammad's fully mixing it all up um, so no I, it, it's I just thought that clip was funny because I didn't even realize that that's what they believed that Hannah was Zacharias's cousin and Hannah gave birth to Mary did you guys know that no, no. anyway I thought that was funny <laughs> 